Content notice. This episode has references to paganism, satanic rituals, and stuffing. It's me, Uncle John John, and I'm here to tell you another bedtime story from vintage pictures I found from storybooks, mostly. And I'm going to make up a bedtime story just for you, and I'm going to tell you about Thanksgiving. I'm going to teach you about the history of Thanksgiving. Now, it all started a long time ago. There were some pilgrims from England, and they wanted to leave England because they didn't want to have to pay taxes. So they got in a boat called the the Mayflower. Uh, do you remember the Mayflower? Did you learn about that? Yeah, it was a big cruise ship full of all sorts of free-thinking people who wanted to be free from, you know, government rules and government restrictions and having to pay taxes for dumb stuff because taxes are bad. So they all went to a place where no one pays taxes and there's no government they went to America, the land of the free and the home of the free. So that's what they did. And that is what Thanksgiving celebrates. Thanksgiving is for to say thank you, for, for giving each other our freedom. And so this is how we will begin. And, and, here we see the first Thanksgiving celebration and everyone put on costumes and they had a picnic outside and it was really cool. We have some of the handmade, Handmaid's Tales women there and then we have some uh, Shakespeare guys and then we have some uh, Native Americans and Indigenous peoples and First Nations peoples. All three of them came together and they had a, a, a barbecue it looks like. Oh, this is so great. Now, now what I notice is that all the white people are being boring and sitting at a table and all the really cool people are uh, hanging out together and enjoying a really delicious feast. Yeah, man, have we always been this boring? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's been this way for a really, really, really long time. But, but then we learn, then we learn in this uh, very small picture. Oh, uh, one of the First Nations people uh, comes up and he looks uh, a lot like Sam, uh, Sam Witwer, uh, who's a, a, a very good actor and voice actor. And he's also in a band called the uh, um, called the Crash Tones. And anyway, <clears throat> that's not important right now to the story. But but this guy who looks like Sam Whitmer, he um, he's giving a bunch of fish and vegetables to these other people who are cosplaying as the Handmaid's Tale and an Amish guy. And for some reason, the Amish guy has a belt buckle on his hat. And like I said. Uh, white people. So then 
Uh, and then today, so now we come to today, I guess. And this is how, uh, this is how, um, ooh, today, many people, when we have Thanksgiving, before we, we eat our dinner, we'll sit together in, in our in our nice clothes in a, in our nice dining room like right and before we eat our feast we will join hands and make a circle of power and in this circle of power um uh, maybe the youngest person in this circle of power who's who's obviously very happy and she's smiling and she is going to say the sacred words to call upon the master of thanksgiving feast um and what does sacred mean do you know what sacred means oh sacred is uh, it's a magic thing. It's when everything is full of magic, but but only for special occasions, special situations like like um, opening day at the major league baseball games, or your birthday, or when Uncle John John gets a paycheck. Yeah. That's a sacred day. That's a sacred day. That's a magical day because it almost never happens. Mm -hmm. So anyway, these people are holding hands into this secret circle of power. And they're all saying these important words to summon a lord from another world to come and give his blessing on this food. You know, when he gives his blessing or her, you know, uh, beings from another dimension, they don't really have a gender. Well, they do have a gender, but they are all genders. They are all one when, with the universe. So when, when this being comes and gives his blessing on the Thanksgiving feast, everybody's supposed to say, thank you. Thank you, Lord and Master of this feast. And grant us your wisdom and your power to uh, live a good life. Anyway, that was kind of dumb. Now, what I would like to say is, in my family, we like to watch movies that celebrate Thanksgiving and this time of year. And what movies can those be? Well, for example, in America... One of the most popular Thanksgiving movies is Die Hard. And Die Hard is, is really, really great because it has an American fighting German terrorists in a Japanese building. And what makes this really good is the American kills all the Germans and he blows up the Japanese. And that's, that's really a metaphor for a lot of things. For example, it's a metaphor for buy American, not German. Or if you like Japanese food, well, okay. I was going to say something really dumb, but I actually really like Japanese food. It's actually really delicious. Did you know that in Japan, desserts are really, 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 really sweet? Like, Japanese cakes and pies aren't like cakes and pies here in America. No way. No. It's the chocolate cakes are all chocolate and full of chocolate frosting and everything. And they sometimes ooze gooey chocolate from inside. And their pies, oh my gosh, their pies are so good. Japanese pies are so fantastic. I'm getting really hungry right now, so I'm going to keep going. This is another Thanksgiving movie. It's called Home Alone. Now, Home Alone uh, stars Macaulay Culkin, who a lot of people know him now as a guy who kind of shows up every once in a while for YouTube videos of his friends 
or like little small roles in very indie movies. But actually, he was one of the most popular child stars. He really was. Like like 50 years ago, he was a huge star uh, all over the world when he was like four years old because he was in this movie called Home Alone. Now, this one is a French version of the movie, so they added an E. So it's, uh, I don't know, I don't speak French. But all I know is it's a really, really great movie. Um, and I also like that there's a little house in between the words home and Alain. I guess in French it's Alain, Alain. So home Alain, yeah. Uh, oui, oui, e e because of the e e at the end of the home line. There you go. I'm looking at my notes and I'm just remembering, it's home alone. It's home alone. So I have to go back and explain everything again. Okay, so basically. Macaulay Culkin is his character, and uh, his parents leave him at home uh, because uh, they were bad parents. And then they went away on a trip, and during this time, uh, there were a couple of bad guys who were trying to break into the house and steal stuff. Uh, but but uh, the kid, and I forget his name, uh, but I'm just going to call him Macaulay Culkin because I think his name is really kind of cool. Anyway, he um, he sets up traps and booby traps and, and all sorts of stuff to to deter these robbers from burglarizing the house. And he also behaves like a very responsible kid. So if you want to celebrate Thanksgiving the proper way, you have to watch Home Alone. Um, however, I will say this. You should watch the first movie, but understand the sequels get better and better. So you need to keep watching the movies. So Home Alone, there's a Home Alone 2. It's even better than Home Alone 1. And then Home Alone 3 is even better. It, it, it just gets more and more and more awesome as it goes along. So that's what I recommend. Okay, anyway, back to creepy, spooky uh, Uncle John John voice. Sorry, Uncle John John. So the next, the next Thanksgiving movie that I recommend is... Edward Scissorhands. And Edward Scissorhands is about a guy with scissors for hands. And it's really funny. It's got Johnny Depp before he went completely loco. Hoo 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 hoo. Ha ha. Yeah, when he was still kind of cool, now he's not cool anymore. And he's just a really big weirdo. I think Hollywood does that to you. Anyway, don't go to Hollywood unless you really, really, really want to be, be a big, great big star, just like that a Counting Crows song. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Are you getting sleepy? I'm looking at you. No, I'm not. This is a podcast. I'm wondering if you're sleeping right now or, or are you thinking about watching a uh, Die Hard, which is not a kid's movie. You shouldn't watch it if you're a little kid. But if you're mom or if you are dad, you should watch this movie. Home Alone? Yeah, it's the whole family can watch together, but not right now. Not right now. No, you're supposed to be sleeping. Your eyes are supposed to be getting heavy and you're supposed to be breathing. <sighs> And then you're supposed to fall asleep. Now, Edward Scissorhands is also a family movie. I kind of like it. I think it's okay, but not for little little kids, because it can be a it can be a little scary, right? But maybe for older kids, it's okay for the whole family to watch together, but not before bedtime. Maybe maybe in the afternoon, or on the weekend or something. That's okay. That's okay. I recommend Edward Scissorhands. It's a very good Thanksgiving movie. Now I'm going to continue teaching you about the history and customs of Thanksgiving, which is is uh is uh right. Um so what we have is we have a 
uh, the the only uh, public domain non copyright picture I could find of a turkey. Now this is what turkeys look like in real life. They are big brown birds, kind of ugly, but they are. But they don't. They're not very useful for anything. Um, and and you can't eat them whenever you want, like fish or chicken or McDonald's. You have to kind of wait for them to like you know get fat, and then, and then you can eat them. Unless they're made of tofu, that's called a tofurkey, and a tofurkey is what a bunch of hi sandal wearing hippies would would eat because they don't want to hurt the animals. Which, by the way is a fantastic idea. We shouldn't hurt the animals. We should be friends with the animals. Unless they're bears. Do you know what a tangent is? A tangent is when Uncle John John is getting really tired and he can't really think of anything to say because he's looking at a picture of a cartoon turkey. I really need to hire someone to find better pictures. Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't a paycheck be great? Okay, Uncle John John, you need to stop now. So the next picture I'm going to show you is what I call the Thanksgiving spread. Now, what is a Thanksgiving spread? Ooh, a Thanksgiving spread is all the things you eat on Thanksgiving dinner. In my family, Mom would get up very early in the morning and she'd put the turkey in the oven. And she'd cook and cook and she'd cook and she'd cook some more. And while she was cooking, she would make all the other stuff that goes with Thanksgiving dinner, like green vegetables and the uh, berry, the berry vegetables and the, the, the apple pie. I guess there's a pumpkin pie. Isn't there a pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving? I think there is. And a sweet potato. We would have sweet potato, right? Oh, sweet potato. And mashed potato, which is a different potato. And I'm not making a reference to the picture I showed before about the first Thanksgiving uh, barbecue party or picnic or whatever it was. I'm trying to be very ethnically uh, diverse here. Uh, I really, really need to move on. So anyway, this is what a Thanksgiving spread looks like. To see what it looks like up close. Uh, so we're going to see what is definitely going to be. Yeah, good job. Good job. <clears throat> this is a plate of all the things Americans eat for Thanksgiving. Now it's got uh, turkey meat, it's got cranberries, which is also a really great band. It's a real, it's a real shame to hear about the singer, you know. Oh yeah, but but hey, you know what? Uh, zombie, yeah. But this is not the Halloween episode of, of 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 Uncle John John reads. This is the Thanksgiving episode. So cranberries is is a is a sauce, a berry sauce that we add uh, to our turkey meat, mm -mm -mm. and it's got green beans. It's got sweet potato, or maybe that's a yam. I'm hoping it's a yam. Do you know why? Because I just like to say the word yam. Yam's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it is. It is. It is really funny, and I am really tired. So, also, we would eat something called stuffing. Okay, let me explain to you about stuffing. For American Thanksgiving, we make certain kind of a, a mixture of of dried foods that we will put together into like a ball or something. And then we put that ball of mixed food inside the turkey. Follow me? So we mix all this stuff together and we put this goop inside the turkey. So when the turkey is being cooked in the oven, so is the, the, the mushy stuff that we made inside the turkey. And that's called stuffing because it's stuffed inside the turkey. 
And right now, I kind of feel like my brain is made of that gushy stuff and it's being, it's stuffing inside my head. Yeah, and I bet if a cranberries zombie <laughs> callback came and they ate, they ate my brain, they wouldn't find any brains. They'd find stuffing and they'd say, mmm, this reminds me of Thanksgiving. Mmm, it's delicious. So, anyway, when the turkey was ready, Mom would take it out and she'd take it out to the table and then we would hold our hands and in, into the circle of power and then we would uh, invoke uh, the master from the other dimension to come and give us his, his blessing. And then when all was finished, we would drop our hands and then Dad would take a big knife or was it a, a, a katana? I think it was a katana. I kind of want it to be a katana. And he would cut open the turkey and serve the different slices of turkey meat to everyone around the table. That's called carving a turkey. And you can see an example of this in this picture where there's different slices of meat. This was done by a katana. And that is a, a, a Japanese sword. See, I'm very multicultural tonight. That's very good. It's good to be multicultural. So are you are you asleep yet? I hope you're asleep. It's very important you're, you're asleep. Very important. I hope your mom is asleep. I hope your dad's asleep. I hope your brother or your sisters are asleep. Anyway, something else that I need to say is when you're eating Thanksgiving dinner, you have to have gravy. So if, if the food we put uh, on our dish so we can eat Thanksgiving dinner, is important. If the stuffing is important to have with our Thanksgiving dinner, the most important thing is gravy. Now, there's many kinds of gravy. Sometimes gravy is brown, sometimes gravy is yellow, and every family has their own recipe for gravy. And, and it's okay Whatever the recipe is, there's no there's no rule that says it has to be one way or the other. It just has to be good gravy. And that's what this is. If you look at this picture, it looks very delicious. And Uncle John John's getting really hungry. Really hungry. He either wants to have turkey with gravy or he wants to have Japanese dessert or Japanese snack. That sounds really delicious. That sounds really good. Uh, and so I think that is a good place to end our story and for me to say to you happy thanksgiving now a little bit of news that i hope you are not listening to right now because everyone in your house is fast asleep and that is this is the last episode of uncle john john reads totally improvised bedtime stories. Until next year, this is the end of the first season. And now I have to be hard at work finding pictures from old, 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 old children's books and picture books and bedtime stories so that I can tell new bedtime stories next season so I say to you happy Thanksgiving Merry Christmas Happy New Year and uh, have a wonderful rest of the year uh, wherever you are from uh, whatever culture or faith or belief you have I want you to know I want you to have a good sleep. Good night.